Hello all, Prepper Pam here. Well, I sh tried to show you in another video how I steamed pomegranates for the juice and I got blasted off of YouTube because people were not happy with that YouTube. They wanted to see the whole thing. So my friend and I, we foraged, uh, or actually she foraged these for me. Look at the size of these. I cannot believe, they don't even fit in my hand. They're just huge. So I'm going to show you from beginning to end how I do the juice with my steamer juicer. I'm not going to show you how to make jelly. And um, I'm just going to show you how I use my steamer juicer. So um, I cut these in a bowl um, because I don't want... Um, I don't want the juice going all over a plate and stuff. So I just cut the top off. Oop, there's some seeds there. You see that? I save all my seeds and I just put them right in here. And I throw this away. So I cut off the outer, um, the outer edge of the pomegranate. It's got dirt and stuff. Let me see here. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway. So I just put it in here, and um, I don't normally, you know, go to a lot of trouble to get it broke apart. Can you see all that? And then the outer edge, I make sure I get the, pom the seeds that are in there. Get all those out. Now you want to hear something hysterical? Oh my gosh. My friend that um, picked these for me, she said she went somewhere, I don't know, craft fair or something, and there was a lady there selling pomegranate jelly, $10 a pint. And my friend asked her, is this real, is this real pomegranate jelly? You know, did you, did you pick it and all that yourself to, you know, get the juice out? And she says, well, no, I didn't get the pomegranate or anything. She goes, I just bought a bottle of pomegranate juice, of palm. Are you serious? That is not pomegranate juice and that is full of sugar so this is real pomegranate um juice look at that look at all the juice that's just coming out of that already so i'm going to cut this off the outer shell off and then um i'll get all this done whoops sorry i'll get all this done look at that oh look at the beautiful seeds oh my gosh Okay. So let me get the rest of these done. Okay, this was a humongous mess. I had juice splatter clear up to the window. I still see a few spots. It stains everything. It's all over my shirt. I've never had it turn into such a mess. So what I did was I cut each pomegranate. I cut it. I quartered it. And then I turned it inside out. And when you turn it inside out, the skin with the pomegranates pops out and you can throw the outer shell away. Um, I do sometimes uh, steam the um, pomegranates with the outside skin on, but depending how clean it is and where you picked them, it's probably just best that if you don't do that. So what I'm going to do is... <clears throat> Turn this on here, okay? So this is the water pan for my steamer. Let me set this down, sorry, I don't have very good camera skills. And then I'm gonna take this, the top part is where all the seeds are, the middle part is where the juice is gonna drip down, okay? And I've got my hose here. Um, Oh gosh, oh what a mess this was. This was terrible. It's all over my clean stove. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so 
I'm just going to let this, I'm going to let the water boil. And, um, now this was 30 pomegranates. I already have some pomegranate juice frozen out in the freezer in an ice cube tray. I figured out that four pomegranates make one cup of juice. So I need about six cups or more for my um, jelly. So if I get more than six cups, then the rest I'm just going to can and I'll drink it straight. This has no sugar. For the people that use POM, P-O-M, to make their pomegranate juice, that is full of sugar. So if you want to have juice with no sugar in it, you have to do it this way. You get the unfiltered or get the unfiltered juice. But anyway, so I'm going to let this steam. Gotta let this all get down, and um, we'll be back. Okay, so this has been going about a half an hour. Oh, I, mean, I don't want to steam up the lens, but they are sinking down. They were really high. They were about up to here, so they are starting to sink down. Let's see here what the juice situation looks like. Uh, I'm going to do this. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, wow. It's about half full of juice. Okay, here comes the juice. When I just lifted this up, I noticed that it was pretty close to flowing over, and uh, I heard when I went and got a jar. I just love my steamer. I don't have to mess with anything. I don't have to smash anything. I don't have to use cheesecloth. This was a little pricey. It was around $75, but I use it almost every single day. If I have a ton of apples and I don't feel like processing them for jelly or whatever, I just juice them and I have jars and jars of juice. And I don't do soda, so 99% of the time I end up drinking pure juice. I just put it in the fridge. So it's always cold, always on hand. Okay, so let me get this finished up here. Okay, so here's all the juice that I got. I got one and a half quarts and I hot bath this. So um, later on, I'm going to be making my pomegranate jelly, and I'm going to turn half of this into just juice for myself. And I'll just put, I'll just, I'm going to take this one and put it in the fridge, because I do not store stuff like that. That's a no-no. So this one's going directly into the fridge. But they're all, they're all sealed. So um, out of about 25 or 30 pomegranates, I got a cup, a quart and a half of juice. So that's how I do it, guys. Easy peasy. Um, you don't have to have one of those big steamers like I have. You can just use a pot and maybe, you know, put the pomegranate seeds in a strainer. I, I'm not sure, but uh, it'll work out. There's a will, there's a way. Have a cool day. Prep, prep, pan out.